Welcome back to Eating the African, where my name is Nikasa. Today we are at one day market. We are not going to tour the whole place. We are going to be in this single place in the whole video. So I've been eating that chicken and I didn't know where it comes from until I, I get the number and I contact I contacted them. So today this is the gentleman is going to, to explain what they do here. Please introduce yourself and tell the people what kind of services do you offer to your customers. Uh, thank you very much for welcoming me and you're also welcome and my name is um, called Ayub Africa. Now for us here we roast chicken and chips. We make a delicious meal and we make chicken for house parties, birthdays, graduations, bigger parties. So you also you do delivery? Yeah, we make delivery. We can give you my I I, I will I give you my contact. You you con you contact me. I can make a delivery. And I can make the chicken to be very delicious, and I can, the chicken re can reach you where you are. So, how far do you deliver? I deliver around Kampala, anywhere I want, and anywhere. when, I, yeah, anywhere. So, if you you are outside Kampala, I mean you you are outside Uganda, you also deliver. <laughs> outside Uganda, but now we are still mm. preparing for that. Mm. Yeah. If someone contacts you, so how do you do that business? It depends how how you want us to make it for you. If you want us to come at your place, we can come. If you want, if you want us to make it from here and then we deliver, there is no problem. Wow, this we is just so good. We just appreciate wow. what you want. Wow. For us, we are here mm -hmm. to make what you want because mm. you are our clients. You are the one. Who, you are the one who make us proud. <laughs> so, is there any secret ingredient you use? No. Mm. Yeah. Which those, one is that? Those ingredients. Those ingredients are mm. mine. Mm. <laughs> Those ingredients are secret. So you don't share them? Yeah, I don't share them. But what if someone wants to, to get the ingredients, they would want to, to, to cook the same chicken at their homes. So and any, any advice? Or, unless uh, you press an order, I can make for you. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't share the ingredients? I don't share the ingredients. Yeah, that's the secret of the chef. They don't share the whole ingredient. They don't. <laughs> because if you share the whole ingredient, then you're going to lose the market. Everyone is going to start doing the same. But eating the African way, we do what we can so that people can learn, learn how to cook. Yes. Thank you so much. Welcome. You can go and continue with your work. Thank you. Yeah. Our aim is to promote the African foods, those on the streets, the local foods, the staple foods, the traditional foods. Is there a difference between traditional food and staple food? I don't know. <laughs> but I think there's no difference. So this is eating the African way. And keep watching. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you've been with us. Thank you so much for being part of eating the African way. Our family is growing. And thank you so much for being here. You're most welcome, and I'm going to show you how I make my chicken and how it looks delicious. Mm -hmm. so I'm, I'll, I'll, this is the way I start. Start roasting my chicken. You see the way I roast it? I make it very good. So now this is the start, this is the way I start roasting my chicken and this is the way I start how to prepare my chicken and I start to get ready to serve my customers. I first deep fry my chicken for some 5 minutes or 10 minutes after deep frying it. You see now the way it's getting golden brown. This is the way I make it. See? Now I'm making this for my customer. Now I'm going to start chopping, chopping it. This one is a whole chicken. This one, like this, is half, and this one is half. 
So this is a whole chicken. Someone has placed a order for a whole chicken and chips. This is how I make it. Chop chop it into small pieces. Chop chop the chicken into small pieces. This is the way to chop, chop the chicken. This is how I make my buddies. <laughs> Put some little oil. And I put it up. Put on this plate. Now this one is ready. Now I'm going to cut my salads. Now I'm going to cut the tomatoes. Chicken for now, the chicken is dry. I'm going to put in the spices. I want to spice it very well. After that, I put in the carrots also. Because I want to make a nice meal for my customer. Try and put some spices. I want to make a nice chicken and delicious lunch for today. I put this one up, put this one down on the fire. Some salt. Okay, my chicken starts from here. After here, I put, I put it here, I deep fry it in the oil. After the oil, I put it up here to wait for the customers to come and place their orders. And now this is my first order. This is the first order of today. I'm trying to make for my client a delicious meal for today. This is our old chicken. I'm going to mix in cabbage, put in even the chips. Put in some tomato sauce and a little bit of it ready for eat. If 
But now I'm still preparing it like for some 10 to 15 minutes. Because I want to make a delicious meal for my client. Mix it properly. Then I put it back. Let's prepare onions, green pepper, tomatoes, carrots, and then I prepare it. First get ready like for two to three minutes. And then I put in some cabbages. And I mix with some curry powder. But it looks good. It's so delicious. Tayari. Curry powder. It's so good. And so nice. And I mix it together. Then I add on some little salt. Then I mix it together. This is how we do it. This is how we run our things. Try to make a delicious meal for our customer. So the next time you come back again, a team Ayub Africa. If you want to find us, if you want to find this delicious meal, you have to come at Wande Gear Market, South Wing. Come looking for Ayub Africa. Or you look for Team Africa. This is how we make our chicken and chips. Ah. Then put it to get ready for some 10 minutes. As now I've brought some chips. I'm going to put it in a plate of chips. This chips, a plate is for 3,000. Start from 3,000 up to 4,000, 5,000. Depends on how much you want. Now I'm going to mix in the chips. Mix it together. See? Looks nice and it looks delicious with the chicken. Want to spice my chicken very well for my customer. What's this? Makes the chicken look tasty. Now I, I'm going to add this also on my chicken. This is how I want to do my things. Make it very nice, looks delicious. Now I'm going to put in some tomato sauce also for my client. Put it on, back on fire for some two to three minutes. You see how I make it? Run it very well. <laughs> I'm called Ayub Africa. I'm found in one day here, market South Wing. Turn it back for some three minutes or two minutes. Now I'm going to put in the ketchup. Got to mix it with the ketchup very well. This one is ready to eat now, but now it's ready to eat. Put in some ketchup. This one is called ketchup, tomato sauce. Ketchup foods. So good. And it's so yummy. Now we'll see how it looks. It looks good. So yummy and so tasty. Now this one is ready to eat. Ready to eat. This one is a whole chicken. A whole chicken with chips and all spices. Now this one is ready to eat. I'll turn it back on fire like for two minutes and then I pack. Because I want to give my client a hot a hot meal. Now I've returned this back flap like for three minutes to two minutes so that I can give my client a hot meal and a hot, a hot lunch. Now this one is ready to eat. Now I'm going to pack and make a delivery for my clients. This one is a whole chicken. It looks yummy and so delicious. Ah, I'm waiting for you, my customers, to call and come and place your order. Now this one is ready, ready to pack. I'm going to pack right now.
Finally, you know what puts a smile on Nico. <laughs> when the food is ready, it's on the table, that's when you see the smile. Ah. Okay. I need a big part. Mm. Mm. Uh, before, before, before I dip in, before their recipe, their ingredients, they are equal. They are, they are those you eat and you feel like the curry was too much, uh, the tomatoes are too much, but this, they are equal so that, so the ingredients are balanced. They are balanced. The salt is... So I need to show you this. The meat is turned up. It goes off the skin. You don't need, you don't need pressure to take it off. Imagine cleaning the bones without any pressure. The meat just come, the, the meat just come off easily on the skin. This is the result. <laughs> so if you come to Wandegea, you wouldn't want to miss out these guys. They have the most delicious, tender, tasty chicken in the whole Wandegea. I'm going to drop their number in the comment section. I think these guys have taken years mastering their recipe. Because every time I eat, the recipe is the same, the salt is the same. Oh God. I don't see the reason why I should go to KFC when these guys are on the street. They have the, they have the, the fresh chicken on the on Wandegea street. Their, their, their prices are affordable. They do they, they do the rivalry, they do house parties, they do any kind of function. You just need to contact them. I, I, I tell you, not, you are not going to regret this. Mm. I feel like I should eat the bones also. <laughs> mm. Things which are lacking are uh, chili. If you, you enjoy chili, you would like to add uh, a little bit of chili. But if you don't, you don't eat chili, that would be good for you. But if you like chili, you can add or they can add for you. I think the reason why they don't add chili is not everyone eats chili. I now give up. I give up. I give up. Imagine the whole chicken in one stomach. Ah, but if this is your first time here, please consider subscribing if you have been with us. Thank you so much for being on Eating the African. Well, today you have seen the video. We have been in one place. Uh, we have been in Wandekea, one of the suburbs of Kampala, Kampala city uh, in Uganda. So the video was about their recipe, their chicken recipe. It's on the street. You can, you, can, you can go there anytime you want, anytime they'll be waiting for you. Their number will be in the de description box. You can contact them, they'll reach out to you. So you, you don't even need to come to their workplace. You just need, you just need to give them a call, they will deliver to you. Uh, I think I need to stop here. <laughs> Catch up in the next video. See you later.